Hello everyone, this is Cindy from Stamped with Aloha. Today we're gonna to create some out of the box pineapple cards using the brand new Hello Beautiful stamp set as well as the Abstract Beauty Designer Series paper. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I wanna show you is this absolutely gorgeous Abstract Beauty paper. The fun thing about this paper is it comes in a four by six sheet. So that's a, a new size. Now you'll notice that this paper all has gold in it. So it's really nice, it's a specialty paper, it has the nice gold foil finishes in there. But then when you flip it over, then you have some really fun prints on the backside as well. Next, let's take a look at the stamp set. It's called Hello Beautiful. It's an abstract stamp set. And when you see it at first, you may not think it's very beautiful. Um, and that's kind of what my first reaction to it was, is like, I thought, I don't really know what I would do with it. But when I partnered it together with this beautiful designer series paper, I found that it is very user friendly and it's really fun. And so I've designed an entire class that I'll be having at the end of this month with demonstrator Missy Shipman, where we're gonna create some really beautiful projects together. Now, today's video is all about pineapples and I'm gonna show you how I created a pineapple image out of the Hello Beautiful stamp set. We are gonna begin with a basic white card base. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is add a layer of bumblebee cardstock. Now, um, we are gonna emboss this with a brand new embossing folder that looks like this. This is a hexagon embossing folder. Now, this really deeply embosses the, the cardstock. So because of that, it's gonna change the height a tiny little bit. So I did cut this at four by five and a quarter, but I just went like maybe like a 16th of an inch more, just a little smidge above the five and a quarter line. So that will account for the embossing process. And then when it is embossed, it's gonna look like this, and then it'll be just the right size that you need. Okay, so then we're gonna take this paper, I'm gonna get out my adhesive, and I'm gonna place adhesive on the back here. And we're going to glue this down to our card base. Okay, next we're gonna add our Abstract Beauty Designer Series paper. So we have two pieces like this, um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip this one around, and this one is gonna get glued on the edge, and then we're gonna leave this one like that. All right, so let's take out our adhesive, and on the floral side, I'm gonna put a little bit of adhesive, and I'm gonna glue this right onto that embossed bumblebee cardstock. Okay, and then we're gonna take the next layer, and now we're gonna show the specialty side with that nice gold finish to it. So we're gonna put that on there. All right, so now the base of the card is done and now we're ready to do our stamping and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna create a pineapple. So I'm gonna be using the beautiful shaped dies that look like this. And for this card, I've die cut two of these shapes here, one out of white and one out of basic black. So using the white piece, we are gonna face it like this and then I'm gonna get my bumblebee ink. And then I'll be using this image here which is looks like this, and this comes from the Hello Beautiful stamp set. We're also gonna be using this image here, and then the words that say, so happy to know you. Okay, so I'm gonna start, and I'm gonna ink up my stamp, and I'm gonna turn it. Now you'll see that the stamp has like a curved side to it, so on the curved side, I'm gonna stamp that right at the bottom of this shape. Then I'm gonna ink it up again, and now with the curved side on the left, I'm gonna stamp it um, to the side of that and then I'm going to flip the stamp so that the curved side is on the right and I'm going to just stamp it a little bit to the right so we kind of made a little u-shaped then I'll take the stamp again and I'm just going to stamp in the middle and fill that in I'm going to ink it up again and this time I'm going to flip the curved part to the left side and I'm going to overlap about half of that image and I'm going to stamp it again you really can't mess this up and then I'm going to turn it around so now that the curved part is on the right side I'm going to line it up with the bottom and kind of tilt it in a little bit like that. And then once again, I'm gonna just fill in the middle. And then just to finish it off, I'm gonna ink it up one more time and I'm gonna just use the curved part on the top. And now you have a nice pineapple shape. Now, um, you can see that it's not perfectly around. If that, I think it's fine like that. If it really bothers you, you can always come back and just add a little tiny bit more ink because you really can't go wrong with these abstract stamps. Okay, next we're gonna add a crown to our pineapple. So I'll be using just jade ink, and then I'm going to use this leaf image here. So let me switch out my ink pad here. I'm going to ink up the just jade, and then I'm gonna just go straight up at the top, and a little bit to the left, and a little bit to the right. And now we have a crown. Okay, and then we're gonna add some texture with the cinnamon cider, 
And so there's lots of different ways we could use texture because this stamp set has lots of fun stamps that we could add texture to our pineapple. Um, but for this one, we're gonna use this right here. Okay, so I'm gonna ink it up and then I wanna stamp off on a scrap piece of paper, take off half of that ink, and then I'm gonna just put a little bit of texture on that side and a little bit of texture on the bottom like that. Okay, so just a tiny little bit. Well, if you've seen a lot of the pineapple projects I've made in the past, you know that I love to put flowers on my pineapples. So this Hello Beautiful stamp set also comes with some images that you can make flowers. So what I'm gonna do is now switch out and use my um, magenta ink, and then I'm gonna take one of the images, I'm gonna stamp it, I'm gonna stamp it again, so I have a lighter shade of pink, the second generation, and then I'm gonna take a, the smaller flower and I'm gonna just stamp that right on the top to just do a little two layer flower like that. Then I'll take out my scissors and I'll fussy cut that out. Okay, so now that's done. And listen, if you're not a fan of fussy cutting, we do have these flower flourish embellishments that you could purchase and these would work just as well to create a little flower on our pineapple. But I love how this abstract flower looks. So we're gonna use this. I'm going to get a little dimensional. I'm gonna use a small black dimensional on the back and peel off the backing. And then I'm gonna stick that right there. Okay, so you know that I also love to put faces on things. To me, that really brings them to life. But you could see, you could leave this pineapple like that, but I just absolutely am crazy about the brand new, lots of pun, December 2021 paper pumpkin um, kit. And I did make a bunch of projects that I'll be sharing with you soon with this. But the great thing about this is that it has all kinds of faces in it. But the face that I'm gonna put on this pineapple is so simple that if you don't have a paper, if you're not a paper pumpkin subscriber, you could easily just get out a black pen and you could draw your own face on. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out my Memento ink, ink up that little face stamp or one of the many face stamps in that kit. And look at that little pineapple. And then of course, if you know me, if you follow my channel, you know that it's not complete until we add some little rosy cheeks. Okay, so there is our little sweet pineapple. And actually, I'm gonna show you three different designs that I created um, using the same concept. All right, so let's put this on the card. So what we're gonna do is we are going to add this to the coordinating shape that I die cut in um, basic black. So let's mount that on there like so. I'm gonna flip this around and we are gonna put this cute pineapple right here. Now the last thing that we wanna do is add some words and add some embellishments. So I'm gonna ink that up with black ink and then I'm gonna stamp it. All right, then I'm gonna add some adhesive to the back. And I'm going to put this on my card. To finish off this card, there's a new product I'm so excited about and that's these iridescent uh, rhinestones. So I'm going to go ahead and just take a medium sized one and place it right there in the center of the little flower. So now we have an out of the box, oh so Cindy <laughs> pineapple uh, card that was made with the abstract stamps in the Hello Beautiful stamp set. So for those of you who said that you like my tropical cards and were waiting for me to create something tropical with another stamp set, I wanted to show you that the Hello Beautiful stamp set can make tropical cards. So let me show you a couple more samples that I created. So we have this cute one here, so happy to know you. And then we also have this one here that a lot of us are feeling right now, which is to say I miss you. So we have our little sad face. Again, all of the papers that I'm using on this card are all coming from the Abstract Beauty. So you can see there's a, a lot of contrasting colors. And then all of the measurements are the same for this card. And then this is the one that's a little over the top because we added a little hakule here. And this one says, hello, beautiful. And of course, I love this, this DSP as well. So um, if you want the template and dimensions for this card, you can go to stampwithaloha.com and I have a free downloadable template for you that you can have all the measurements and photos of these three projects. So before we go, I have one more card I wanna show you because this is very cutesy. I wanna show you how you can create a pineapple using other images from the Hello Beautiful stamp set. And this card is going to be for my friend Kim who loves pink pineapples. So we are gonna start with the same white card base. And then I have the Magenta Madness that I'm going to add as my next layer. 
So let me glue that down. Now this is a different layout than that first one. So I'll tell you the measurements for this. This is um, the Abstract Beauty DSP, and this is a two and a quarter by five and a quarter piece. And it has a splatter on one side and then the black and gold on the opposite side. So we're going to put this on so that just a little tiny smidge of the magenta cardstock is sticking out on the left side, okay? Then we're gonna take the opposite side and I've cut this piece to two and three fourths by two and three fourths. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some adhesive to the shiny side and then we're gonna mount this to a three by three square, okay? And then we are gonna add some dimensionals. All right, so I added my dimensionals, I took off the backing, I'm gonna flip this around and I'm going to mount this right here. All right, now we're ready to stamp our pineapple. So I have this shape that I die cut with the beautiful shapes dies that coordinate with this set. So I'm gonna place this down here. I've got my magenta madness ink, and then I'm gonna use this image here. So I'm gonna go ahead and ink it up, and then I'm going to stamp it off, and then I'm going to stamp it so just that bottom piece gets cut off. Now we are stamping over this embossed part, so it is going to show, those lines are gonna show up a little bit, but that's totally okay. And then I'm gonna take this stamp here, and this is how we're gonna add the texture. So with a full strength ink pad, I'm gonna just go ahead and stamp at a diagonal all the way across. And then I'm gonna flip it in the opposite direction. Okay, so now we have some fun texture on the pineapple. Then I'm gonna be using some Just Jade, and we'll do the same type of a crown. So I'm gonna ink up my stamp, and I'm gonna go straight up, off to the left side, off to the right side. And then for the sentiment, I have a half inch by two and a quarter strip, and I'm gonna just stamp the words, Hello Beautiful. All right, let's put this card together. I've already added some dimensions to our focal point, so we're gonna put that right there in the center. And then remember I said don't worry about the part here, that's because we're gonna take our little sentiment, we're gonna add some adhesive in the middle, and then that is going to get glued right across the bottom over those lines, so that will cover that right up. All right, and then the last thing that you could do to this card if you want is you could add a little flower. So let me show you another sample of this card. I think I have a different sentiment on it, but yeah, here it is. And this one says, so happy to know you. And then I just fussy cut a flower right out of the beautiful DSP. So these projects are done and I hope that I have inspired you today to take a second look at the Hello Beautiful stamp set and maybe see it in a new way and see some out of the box creative ways that you can use it to even create something like a fun pineapple image. And don't forget to go to stampedwithaloha.com and download the free PDF for this project so that you can recreate it if you'd like. Thanks again for watching. I look forward to stamping with you again soon. Until then, aloha.